The corals that exist in the Gulf of Aqaba have unique properties that uh, don't exist in corals in other places in the world. They are resilient to heat and climate change, which makes investigating them very important. So we should pay more attention and invest more efforts to explore and to protect. Treating cancer is our priority. So we have to look for treatment and solutions in unexpected places. And Gulf of Aqaba is the right place for holding answers that we haven't discovered yet. We're here to um, explore new sources for uh, drugs. We hope to find something within this Gulf of Aqaba. So coral is special in the way they grow. They're different from plants. They're different from animals. So different things produce different metabolites, different drugs, different uh, compounds. You know, that's why we're here. They're going to produce the new metabolites that we're looking for. Uh, and because of the diversity, that hasn't been really uh, tested before. We collect samples uh, in a way not to, you know, produce harm for the coral. Coral is, is uh, I think it's rich enough to have many microorganisms, and these microorganisms, in many cases, they secrete or excrete molecules that are really trying to protect themselves from the harsh environment of the sea. So we're trying to get this way of protection to protect ourselves. We're always looking for a new horizon of molecules that are going to get into the cancer without affecting the normal cells. Other oceans have been explored, but this is the first time to explore the Red Sea area that we're living in, in Jordan. Here we are really just to know the new corals found in the Red Sea because we haven't explored what's really in that depth of 700 meters, 800 meters. Nobody before have explored it on that uh, part of the world. Now we have two things to do, to create science and to distribute it.